Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Tammy Pantzer, and this is Optimal Health, and it is sponsored by Relief Now Laser Methods. And I'm really excited because laser is like a really hot topic. And today, my guest is Dr. Jeffrey Roy Stature from Raleigh, and he graduated from prestigious Life University in Marietta, Georgia in 1999. He's been in private practice for more than 23 years in New Jersey and North Carolina. And this is something really interesting because Dr. Roy Stature has won more than 75 awards during his career. And he has been named one of the top doctors in the country. He is located in Raleigh, North Carolina, but that doesn't mean that you can't visit him. And we're going to talk about that today. And he's married to his beautiful wife, Heidi, for the past 20 years. They have three children with Aiden, and he is going off to college. And then Ava and, of course, Jillian, who just started kindergarten. So I love to talk about children because they're always doing something really cool. So let's get started. Today, we're really going to focus on laser methods. But first, doctor, tell me a little bit more about your background and your practice. So as you said, I've been in practice. This is going on my 23rd year. We run a world-class facility in Raleigh, North Carolina. Our main focus is class four laser. We have some other services, spinal decompression, um, exercise rehab, things like that. But overall, as I'm entering the 23rd year, I love it today as much as I loved it the first day of practice. And the addition of the Relief Now uh, laser has been the most exciting change to my practice in my entire career. And each and every day as we're taking care of so many different conditions and different patients, just to see the success behind it has really just uh, motivated me in 2022 like no other year. That's really exciting. One of the things when I was reading your information, you say that lasers can treat more than 3,000 different, uh, I guess, conditions. Yeah. What are some of the conditions that you can treat with laser that most people don't know about? I'll tell you, we have two class four lasers and the one laser is called the Sumus Horizon class four laser. And that laser has over 3000 conditions preloaded. So I can give you a list that sometimes it seems crazy, but migraine headaches, tinnitus, sinus infections, allergies, bronchitis, ulcerative colitis, the list just goes on. I think when we all hear laser, we think of the knee and the shoulder and plantar fasciitis and so many of those conditions. But I've had a couple of cases recently that it, it truly just blows my mind that I've come to the point that if somebody asks me, uh, do you think laser would help with blank? I usually say now, yes. <laughs> and then we kind of figure it out from there. Wow. Who would have thought? I mean, when you talk about migraines, for example, I mean, I see a lot of advertisements on TV for migraine treatments, and none of them are anything that I would ever want to try personally for, for, uh, for a headache. But that's really interesting. So science and lasers, is there a lot of uh, a lot of case studies backing up laser? Yeah, so actually, there is currently 900 medical studies. And in those medical studies, they're coming from universities, uh, scientific researchers, the laser itself was FDA cleared in 2002. So it's been in the US. I feel like the biggest change is the class of laser that's currently out. So there is class one, class two, class three, and class four. 
the class four lasers have become so strong in a good way and able to work on so many conditions of the human body, actually requiring very few treatments and even a treatment time with certain conditions, as little as three minutes of laser. So it does stand strongly in science. There are new papers coming out each and every day. PubMed is a great resource for peer-reviewed medical studies. So I always say to my patients, this is not some new age, newfangled, uh, hippie alternative therapy. This truly stands in science. So you said hub med, so that's H U B M E D. Hub med, P U E. Oh, pub, P U D. Like, okay, I I miss um, heard that. So that is really interesting. So anybody who wants to go really dig deeper into some of these uh, case studies or medical research studies, you can do that. Can you tell me a little bit more how these uh, lasers, you say they're class four lasers, class four. how do they work? So this is how I describe it to my patients. I try to keep things as simple as possible. The human body has trillions of cells and think of the cells like little batteries. And just like our cell phones, these batteries will go empty. And the class four laser will help to recharge the batteries. So when we look at it in terms of a uh, new injury or a chronic injury, the cells in that area are damaged. And by being damaged, they'll fail to proliferate and grow and heal. So one of the most exciting things of class four laser is if I'm working on, let's say, a lower back the cells will immediately begin to multiply and new cells will form and they will continue to multiply and grow for the next 18 to 24 hours after the laser treatment is finished. So I always say to my patients that this treatment in essence is a two day treatment. What we've done today as an example and then for the next 18 to 24 hours. Think of the cells as they're growing and replicating. I describe it like a bubble bath. And as the water is rushing in and the bubbles are overflowing, that's what's happening to the cells of the body. And what that allows is truly amazing healing. There is not another therapy on the planet that can do as much as what a class four laser can do. I, I like the way that you describe those things because who doesn't like a bubble bath? And you can imagine, again, the, I think the key word is healing. And th- that's one of the things about laser methods and laser therapy that I think is so important is that you're doing this short laser treatment. You said as little as three minutes, um, and it helps your cells to rejuvenate. I know a lot of people, they're saying, okay, so um, I wanted to touch on, I call it medical tourism, because people can actually come to you um, from anywhere in the world, um, like internationally, or, um, you know, they don't have to just be in your, in Raleigh to, to work with you. So um, how does that work? If somebody wants to come in, would they come in for a day, a few days, a week? How how would that work? Yeah, I'll tell you, July would be a great example of this. So we've had such an influx of out of state and even out of country patients that we've actually had to place on our website a little information saying, please contact our office so that our staff can help you with your travel arrangements. And we have relationships with local hotels, you know, for, for the reservations. But in the, in the month of July, we had patients traveling from New York, New Jersey, Florida, Argentina, and Virginia. It's, it's just crazy because patients traveling to come see us just shows our office, what an incredible job that we do 
And as far as the patients that are coming from out of the area or state or even out of the country, we just have them stay in our, in our area of Raleigh for a week. And most of the laser recommendations are six treatments. So we will treat the patient daily, even if we have to do treat two treatments in a single day. Comparing, though, a class four laser requiring six treatments as a baseline, the class three laser would actually require almost 30 treatments. So again, we are able to see the out of state, out of country patients in a one week time frame where it would not be possible with any other laser. Wow, that, that's really interesting. I've never been to uh, North Carolina, but I can just ima imagine um, that it must be a really beautiful place. And yeah. that would be a great way to, to do it. You know, you go and you can have a nice little vacation and, and get the treatment. Now, haven't you, aren't you writing a book right now and, and, and have a new book coming out? Yeah, so we just completed the book. It's at the publisher, but the publisher just finished with it. We're expecting 500 copies at the end of September. I don't know if you've heard, but we are actually in a paper shortage in this country. So by the end of September, we'll have our first round of books. It's truly been a labor of love because I'm a big reader myself. And I love to sit down with a book and learn more and educate. So this book was written with that purpose in mind, that even a person that has no knowledge and no medical training can read our book and really learn quite a few things about class four laser. And the title of the book is Ditch the Drugs, Skip the Scalpel. And our goal is to really be able to offer a different science-based treatment that doesn't require polypharmaceutical methods. And obviously, if we can avoid surgeries with it, that's a great step as well. I, I like the title. So it's Ditch the Drugs, Skip the Scalpel. Yes. Yeah, I like that because I don't know about other people, but I know that I am... I've never been a pill taker. I don't want to take pills for pain. I don't want to be in pain. So laser therapy sounds like something that could be very useful. And I like the idea of going somewhere and being able to, like you said, if, if, if the suggested treatment is six times, then you could go and do, do that for, you know, the six times in just that week period or yeah. you know that I think would be um nice and do most people um after their first treatment when do they start noticing an improvement typically so what's amazing with laser is even after the first treatment patients will feel a positive change Usually by visit two or three, we have that whoa moment where things really are improving. And it's incredible being a doctor now for the past 23 years, I knew that in most patient conditions, it would take one, two, three months to really begin to help. And now, even after one session, just to see the, the patient's face and uh, how they've already begun to improve. That's why I keep saying this year has just been a special, special year. Every day I go to the office, I'm just excited to uh, see which patients we're going to treat and what new condition we're going to help with. Exciting times. That really is exciting because, again, pain, it, it, you don't realize sometimes how much pain you're actually in and how much it's affecting your life until you're not in pain anymore, because you kind of just get used to, to it and you, you think, oh, I have to live with this pain. But it sounds like to me with, the, with these lasers that now you literally can go in and have relief without the drugs. And the part about the surgery, um, 
who typically when, when you're talking about surgeries like like are surgeries typically done because people are in pain and it's like okay the drugs aren't working so let's cut you open and see what happens i mean yeah. why do people even get to that point yeah you know it's it's a progression and just let's use lower back as an example I read a study recently that talked about back surgeries and that most patients have back surgery because of pain. Yet after the surgery, 75% of patients having back surgery will have no pain relief. You look at something too, like a unique condition in my office, we could have a patient with a torn rotator cuff orthopedic surgeon said surgery is necessary and we're able to actually repair the rotator cuff non-surgically through laser. I have another patient currently, uh, she's an older patient. Her right hip is severely degenerated and the orthopedist said this, this joint needs to be replaced. She was an avid walker, usually two, three, four, five miles per day she was down to about 50 feet per day because of the pain. And after our first two weeks of laser, she's back up to walking two miles with no pain. So a lot of experts feel that laser is the ultimate pain reliever, and I completely agree, but it heals the human body like nothing I've witnessed before. Wow, that's phenomenal. So what about arthritis? And and I'm talking from my point of view because oh. I fell down and I could hardly walk. So of course I went in and I got an x-ray and they said, oh, nothing's broken, but you've got arthritis in your pelvis and your hip and your knee. And I'm like, okay. And then of course they, um, you, you know, said, take, you know, ibuprofen or something and all that stuff because I said I didn't want any other drugs but the pain of course did not improve could laser help arthritis so first when we talk about arthritis in the weight bearing joints the knees the hips the spine it's osteoarthritis and it's caused over time by uneven wear and tear laser on arthritis bursitis, inflammation. It's honestly like a godsend to be able to get the pain out of an arthritic joint in a very short period of time. And then to watch these patients being able to walk and exercise and pick up their grandchildren. Again, it's just so incredibly rewarding. I'm so thankful to have brought this into my practice. It just sounds so exciting because I mean, you know, I know personally that the, as we age, you know, all of a sudden, you know, like I said, who would have ever thought that, you know, a couple of years ago, it, it, everything felt fine. And then, oh, you have arthritis and, you know, in your joints and, and, and all this stuff that you just don't realize uh, is there. I, and yeah. again, uh, your book is coming out the end of September. And um, is there anything else that you um, can think of that maybe I forgot to ask you? Well, I think the biggest thing when people hear laser, they think about tattoo removals, they think about hair removal, uh, the surgeon using it to cut or cauterize. The lasers that we use are healing lasers. So it is incre an incredibly comfortable treatment, yet there is no pain associated, no true side effects. Really, the aspect of laser in my office, as long as everybody in the laser room is wearing the, the proper glasses to protect the eyes, it is one of the most amazing, comfortable, and incredibly safe therapies that exist. I think that's one of the important things you just said about side effects, having no known side effects. With that, are there any people who would not be a good candidate for lasers? So we talk about patients with cancer 
because as I discussed earlier, that the cells will begin to increase and multiply. So if we have a cancer patient, and actually I have a couple of cancer patients under care, one patient has breast cancer, so we will not work anywhere around the chest or upper back. I have another patient with prostate cancer, so we will not work around the pelvis or lower back area. So those patients, obviously, we need to screen and evaluate. And I actually take it a step further. I ask them to have their oncologist approve their treatment. I am very much into the team approach. I like to work with as many specialists and other doctors as possible. It really is all about the patient, patient-centric care, to be able to treat them effectively, safely, and I'm a big person. I don't like to waste patients' time, and I definitely do not like to waste our patients' money as well. So if somebody wants to have a consultation with you, um, how would they go about doing that? Really, the best way would be either calling our office or our website. So the office number is 919-847-3959. Just as for Casey, she's our office manager. She's wonderful. And then our website is www.reliefnowlaserraleigh.com. But also just a simple Google search will bring up all of our social media. Easy to contact us. That's super. So Relief Now, what was that website again? Re Relief Now Laser Raleigh. Relief Now Laser Raleigh. And again, what I really like about the about this whole thing is the fact that no matter where you are, you can actually uh, go to talk with you and come into Raleigh and get that relief now with your lasers, which I think is a, is a really cool thing. And everyone, I'll put the information into the show notes. And remember, you can always uh, contact um, Dr. Roy Stacher and he'll, you know, give you all of the proper information so that you can know if lasers are right for you. And it just, I'm really glad that we had an opportunity to talk and that your new book is coming out. Um, I, I just love that. So that is ditch the drug skip the scalpel yep okay yeah. and I, it will I, happen I like end that. of september <laughs> and i imagine at the end of september when you get those books in you can um have a big uh, book signing party <laughs> and invite That's, everyone in <laughs> to celebrate that is the plan for sure we'll have a nice catered event at the practice <laughs> well great well thank you so much and everyone Remember, you can always listen in to Optimal Health and learn more about all of the state-of-the-art state health issues today. Thank you so much, Dr. Roy Stacher. I really appreciate you talking with me today. Thank you so much, Dr. Tammy. I appreciate you having, on, having me on your show. Thanks.